Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected student. Today, I'm going to present a very short lecture on alcohol, its nomenclature, physical properties, and uh, just one synthetic scheme. These are the topics which I have to cover, like structure and nomenclature of alcohol, then physical properties and in its importance, uh, and the synthesis of alcohol just from alkene, as I mentioned earlier, and then uh, in last, the summary of the reaction that how alcohol could be synthesized. Okay, alcohol, as you know, that have the hydroxyl group bonded to a saturated carbon atom and it should be sp3 hybridized. If it is uh, uh, bonded with the uh, phenyl or the benzene ring, then it is not the alcohol, it's the phenol. These are uh, three uh, type of alcohol. One is known as the primary alcohol and the, another known as the secondary alcohol while the last one known as the tertiary alcohol. Why these are one primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol just based on the sp3 carbon. Now look at the structure. If this sp3 carbon is bonded with one of the alkyl chain, then alcohol is one degree. And when this sp3 carbon bonded with one of the two alkyl group, then it is a secondary alcohol. When the sp3 carbon, which is directly bonded with the alcohol, and this carbon is bonded with three alkyl group, then this type of alcohol is known as the tertiary alcohol. And these are uh, the example of the some unsaturated alcohol. When sp3 carbon, which is bonded directly with the OH, and this sp3 carbon bonded with the olefin, a double bond, it is known as the allyl alcohol. While when this uh, sp3 carbon bonded directly with the uh, uh, sp carbon, then it is known as the proper gyl alcohol. Similarly, if this sp3 carbon directly bonded with the benzene ring known as the benzyl alcohol, which is also known as the aromatic alcohol. Let's see uh, rules that how we can name alcohol. Uh, just similar with the name of the alkane, uh, we have to find out the longest chain that include the carbon to which the OH group is directly attached and use the lowest number for the carbon to which the OH group is attached. And later we use a suffix uh, uh, of alcohol as an ol, uh, like in alkane, E will be replaced with the ol group. Let's see here, we have some two examples in which the alcohol nomenclature has been given. In this skeleton, you can see at carbon number two, the hydroxyl group attached, the common name is isopropyl alcohol, while the IPEC name is, uh, it should be uh, propane to all. Next one is we have a three hydroxyl group containing carbon chain and this molecule contains three hydroxy. So we will start from here one, two and three. And at these carbon we have the three triol. So we will write one, two, three butane triol. Uh, some more example here, how to name this structure. First rule, select the longest chain in which the alcohol group is attached. So this is the longest chain in which alcohol group directly attached and we start numbering where we give the preference to the OH very near to the uh, branch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbon alcohol. Now next is how to number this one like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will be wrong. Why? Because in this case, of course, we have a long carbon chain, but OH, OH group is going away from the, uh, the first number. So this will be the correct way of numbering. Later, how to name this? Uh, name will be, of course, you can see at carbon number three, we have the propyl and carbon number two, we have the old group. So we'll say three propyl heptane to all will be the correct IPEC name. Alcohol have, uh, uh, when we discuss the regarding the physical properties, Alcohol have high boiling point when compared with the um, ethers and hydrocarbons. For example, when we are comparing this alcohol with uh, diethyl ether, pentane, and 1-butanol, uh, same um, similar molecular mass, you can see here that alcohol have 117.7 degrees Celsius boiling point because of the hydrogen bonding. While in the same similar mass, the diethyl ether and the pentane did not have the hydrogen bonding. Therefore, they have the low boiling point. Uh, uh, the same thing. These are some uh, uh, the, the, the chemistry and the, uh, you can see some uh, main synthetic root of the, uh, the alcohol. 
the industrial scale, like methanol could be synthesized with carbon monoxide uh, on treatment with hydrogen at very high temperature and high pressure to give you methanol. These are basically synthetic scale of uh, alcohol preparation. And uh, methanol is one of the common alcohol which is very highly toxic and uh, even uh, its ingestion can cause uh, the, uh, of course, it's a carcinogen and uh, the exposure to eye is make, may cause the blindness as well. Large quantities of uh, alcohol when we in, uh, indigest, we can get the death as well. So methanol is poisonous alcohol as well. So and the second type of alcohol is very ethanol and it is uh, synthesized in a very cheaper way, which is known as the fermentation process. Like uh, sugar when treated with yeast to give you 95% alcohol with, along with the carbon dioxide, which will be evaporated. And uh, of course, we can get the alcohol using acid catalyzed hydration of ethane. While we add the hydro uh, water to the alkene in the presence of the acid, we can get the alcohol, the ethanol. Some more uh, the uses of uh, we can see the importance of the alcohol, ethylene and the propylene glycols. They are basically good automobile anti-freezing agent and propylene glycol, which is low toxic and also replace the ethylene gly glycol, which is of course the alcohol. And uh, it is also known as a, uh, the automobile anti-freezing agent as well nowadays. Now, these are some synthetic schemes that how, how alcohol could be synthesized. As I mentioned, that we will discuss only three methods that alkenes is the main starting compound from which alcohol could be synthesized. First one, acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes. Now, alkene, when we treat with water, aqueous acid, we can get the alcohol. Of course, there are three steps involved in the in this reaction. The first step is the protonation from the acid to give you the carbocation. And next step is the attack of the water molecule as a nucleophile to generate this oxonium ion. And the final is, step is the deprotonation step that water will capture this proton to give you this corresponding alcohol. Okay, acid catalyzed reaction have some limitation as well. Uh, what are these limitations that it follows the Marconi of PG selectivity and a free carbocation is um, um, of course available. Therefore, uh, in this case of acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes, the rearrangement of carbocation is possible, especially when we have some substituted alcohol. Next uh, uh, is the oxymercuration, demercuration. Of course, uh, this is very common method to synthesize alcohol in which first, the alkene is treated with the mercuric acetate in presence of uh, the water and, and the pH of the solvent to give you this intermediate, which on reduction with sodium borohydride in under basic condition give you the corresponding alcohol. Okay, this uh, um, um, reaction has a lot of advantages that mark follows the Marconi of radioselectivity means when we have the substituted alkene. OH will go where we have the less number of hydrogen, while hydrogen from the sodium borohydride will go where we have the more hydrogen. Similarly, anti stereoselectivity observed in this reaction. And generally, uh, this reaction uh, takes place without the complication of the rearrangement. Or we can say there is a very rare rearrangement occur in this reaction. Mechanism, I'm not focusing on the mechanism. Why? Because uh, one lecture already uploaded on my YouTube channel, which is the, the reactions of alkene and alkynes part one. And this is the link of the lecture in which the detailed mechanism of this reaction have been already explained. Uh, hydroboration oxidation, also a common method to synthesize alcohol from alkene. In this uh, reaction, it, it's a basically two step reaction. The first step is the hydroboration from the boron. And the second step, the oxidation step in the hydrogen peroxide under basic condition to give you the corresponding alcohol. What are the main features of this reaction that follows the anti marconic of the selectivity? And it follows the syn stereoselectivity while we can see, uh, already have seen in the previous reaction uh, regarding the oxymercuration, demercuration follows the anti-stereoselectivity. Anti so this is the syn-stereoselectivity reaction, means the OH 
and the H are on the same side of the double bond. While in the previous example, we have the opposite side, means OH and H, they are on the opposite side, actually. Mechanism, I'm not discussing here because it is already explained in reaction of alkene and alkyne part one and the YouTube link is given here. Let's see some uh, discussion on some reaction that what happened and how can we synthesize all these alcohol from this alkene. Of course, you can see here, this is uh, an alkene or the substituted alkene. And here we have a CH2 and here we have a CH. And uh, you see here, this CH2 uh, is being converted into CH3. And here we have the OH. So of course, this is following the Marconi of regiochemistry. In this reaction, when we wanted to synthesize this alcohol, CH2 uh, and, uh, and CH, and the OH is being added on uh, on the CH2 while H is being added on a CH. So this reaction pathway follows the anti marconic physiochemistry. There is no rearrangement involved. So we can synthesize this target alcohol from, of course, um, like acid catalyzed hydration or the oxymercuration demercuration. While this uh, starting compound can be treated with the uh, hydroboration oxidation step to give you the anti marconic of reduced selectivity. Let's see an, 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 another example that if we have this type of alkene, and this is a highly substituted alkene because in neighbor we have a, a tertiary butyl like group, that how we can synthesize uh, this alcohol and this alcohol. See, uh, if we just look at the structure, here we have a CH2 and here we have a CH. Now CH2 in this reaction is converting into CH3 and uh, OH is being added at this CH. So this is following the Marconi of selectivity. While this alcohol is actually following the anti Marconi of selectivity. So for anti Marconi, of course, we have the hydroboration oxidation step. While for the Marconi of we have the hydroboration oxidation. Uh, sorry, oxymercuration, demercuration, and the acid catalyzed hydration as well. And let's see that. Uh, uh, how these products are being synthesized, synthetic one, that if we wanted to uh, synthesize this alcohol, of course, it is following the anti marconic of reduced selectivity. And for the anti marconic of reduced selectivity, we have to use the hydroboration oxidation. So, just it, that's it. Just add the uh, hydroboration oxidation step, and we can get this molecule. While this molecule, which is basically following the Marconi of reduced selectivity, there are there are two possibilities. What, what are these possibilities that we can either use the acid catalyzed hydration or either we can use the oxymercuration, demercuration, uh, the reagent to follow this compound. The, but, but the main problem is that once we use the acid catalyzed hydration to synthesize this alcohol, it will not be synthesized. Why? Because it will rearrange it to another compound. Okay, let's see with the mechanism that how and what happened that how happened when this alkene is treated with the acid catalyzed hydration and when uh, this reaction or this starting compound is treated with the oxymercuration and demercuration. Similarly, if we synthesize the previous alkene with the acid catalyzed hydration, the first step is the protonation to give you this intermediate. And you can see in this example, the carbocation is the secondary carbocation, which will ultimately rearrange to the stable carbocation, which is a three degree carbocation by the methyl shift or one to alkyl shift. Now, in the next step, the water molecule act as a nucleophile to give you this intermediate. So we do not have, or we are not getting our required product when we are treating with the acid catalyzed hydration. Similarly, if we wanted to treat this alkene with the oxymercuration demercuration step, this is the intermediate on the mercuric acetate addition. And later, when it is treated with the sodium borohydride reduction, this mercuric acetate will be uh, removed and hydrogen from the hydride ion will come to give you this alcohol without rearrangement. So the, the main, uh, reagent will be of the mercuration uh, reagent to synthesize this compound rather than the acid catalyzed hydration. This is the overall summary of uh, today's reaction that when alcohol uh, wanted to treat, we can um, synthesize alcohol from the hydroboration oxidation, we can synthesize 
alcohol from the oxymercuration, demercuration um, step, and we can synthesize alcohol from the acid catalyzer hydrogen. These are the reactions which we have done today in synthesizing alcohol. That's all for today's lecture.